Konnichiwa, hello, my name is Mickey, and welcome to my channel. In today's eyeliner review, we are going to be trying out the House Laboratories Eyeliner. I'm really excited because this is, I believe, Lady Gaga's line of makeup. Now, if you're new here or you enjoy my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I post my videos. And my disclaimer, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is not the place for you. I am a no-filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of this mouth, so keep that in mind while you're watching. So if you're interested in how the Lady Gaga House Laboratories eyeliner works, then just stay tuned. I know I look ridiculous because I'm doing a face mask, but I could not wait to try this face mask. I've been waiting for it all week. I got the Coors Hydra Biome Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask with Real Greek Yogurt. I love this brand so much. And I saw some pictures and some um, like before and after photos of people using this and it really helped with their redness. And I have a lot of redness, a lot of dryness, and this is supposed to help hydrate. So I just could not wait to put it on my face, which is why we are here starting the video off with a face mask. So today's eyeliner I'm very excited about is the House Laboratories from uh, Lady Gaga. I believe this is her brand and I am just so freaking excited to review this because Lady Gaga, I'm just such a big fan of Lady Gaga. Like I love her so much. This is the Liquid Eyeliner. It's spelled just like so and this retails for $20 which is pretty much the same as any like mid-range uh, makeup brand. There's two colors that are shown here punk and I think oh the other color is whiskey which is like a dark chocolate brown I got the shade punk because it's black and I am just gonna open this bad boy up so we can see the packaging and the component Ooh. I really like this. The cap has a little kind of like diamond dome on top of it there. And this is a very like nice sleek eyeliner. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. And of course, felt tip. Why do we do felt tip? This is a very long felt tip. This is kind of like the other one I reviewed. I can't remember which one was the long one, but this is a very, very long felt tip. All right, some information about this. Lay down the line with our best-selling long-wearing matte black liquid eyeliner in punk. The super fine flexible felt tip guides your line without tugging or flaking for subtle to bold precision that brings any look to life. Now it claims to have 24-hour long wear, no feathering, skipping, tugging, or flaking. This is weightless and flake proof. So I went ahead and took my mask off. I really like that mask, but I don't feel like it did too much for my redness, but I think it's a mask that I'm just gonna have to keep using over and over. I went ahead and put some brows on and my ColourPop no filter concealer with some eyeshadow. I went in with the ColourPop blush crush palette and I only went in with one shade, the one, which is this guy right here. And I just put that all over my lids. So we have some kind of like eyeshadow there. I'm not gonna be doing much today. I'm actually going to be cleaning the house and kind of reorganizing my room a little bit and so that's why I don't have a full face of makeup on also when I went to go take off the mask I had a really thin scab right here and I've been using the face halo to kind of wipe my face off and I'm not saying the face halo is abrasive or anything but because this scab was so freaking thin it ended up coming off when I wiped my skin and then I had that little like uh, I don't even know what it's called but it's like a little serum-y type of consistency that comes out like whenever you like pick a scab or something that is like really thin. So I went ahead and put on one of my little hero patches to kind of suck up the nastiness. All right, so I'm finally gonna put this on. I just need to take a deep breath and then hold it in until I'm done applying this. And we're gonna see if this snags or catches on any of my skin, if it bleeds. Because the felt tip is so freaking long, I'm just like really, really scared because I don't have like a lot of eye space. So I'm just gonna take a deep breath, relax, and here we go. Whew, I 
did it. I got it done. I went ahead with this eye first and I have a little bit of bumpies. So to me, that just means that the felt tip is catching and snagging. This is just why I don't like felt tips. You guys know this. If you have watched any of my other reviews, you know that I just do not like felt tip. I'm not going to sit here and repeat it 10,000 times like I did in the past videos. I just prefer brush tips so much more because there is no tugging and pulling and catching and snagging. None of that stuff. Most of the time when I apply liners with a brush tip, I don't get these bumpies like on the top here, even on this one. As you can see, it's not like a smooth line, but I will say because of how much product actually comes out of this liner, it's so much easier to apply than an eyeliner where you have to keep going over and over the same spot again just to get the product on there. Because once you're doing that, sometimes you don't realize and you're making your eyeliner thicker or you're putting on so much product on top of each other, on top of each other, and it takes forever to dry down. That just makes it thick and more prone to transferring because it's not just one solid layer. So I love the fact that this dispenses enough product to get your liner down and not having to go over it several times. Also, even though it dispenses a lot of product, it still didn't bleed or feather or anything like that. But one other thing that I'm just kind of eh about is how long the felt tip is because it is so long and so thin that it's almost flimsy. So whenever I go to make a flick, I don't have a lot of eye space or lid space. So I never do like a super huge cat eye wing or anything like that. And so whenever you have a long tip like this, you're more prone to, you know, winging it out further. And I don't have that luxury because I need to do like these tiny tiny little triangular wings. Sorry, Meow Meow is having an asthma attack right now and there's nothing I can really do. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let her out of my room so we're not listening to her having an asthma attack. Don't worry, she's being treated. It's just lately with all the allergens and stuff in the air because it's spring, we're all dying in this house. Me, my husband, and Meow Meow are all dying from allergies, so. Don't worry, she is being treated. So time kind of slipped by me and it is now 2.44, but I'm going to call the check-in time 2.40 because it's easier for me to remember. Also, I've had this on for a couple of minutes and so I'm probably gonna have to write that time down because I don't think I can remember 2.40. I'm not gonna be leaving the house or going anywhere. So I'm gonna keep this on for as long as possible and just kind of go throughout my day. Um, I'm gonna be picking up the house a little bit and just doing wifely shit. <laughs> so I will see you guys in a couple hours for my first check. In. So the time is now 7.31 and I started the check-in at 2.40. So I've been wearing this for almost five hours. Ten more minutes, it'll be five hours. So far, we are looking pretty good. I have not seen any transfer to the hood of my eyes at all whatsoever. This eyeliner is very, very comfortable. At first when I applied it, it felt like it was drying down like my eyelids a little bit. But after a while, I don't know if it like melted to my skin or maybe my body heat warmed it back up a little bit. But now it is very, very comfortable. Oh, okay. So I lied. There is a little tiny bit of transfer happening right where a little bit of my eyeshadow rubbed off. So I'm gonna scoot in closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Excuse the nastiness that is my skin. Hopefully you can see a small amount of transfer right there on the hood of my eyes. And I don't know what's going on there. A little bit of my eyeshadow also rubbed off. This eye is looking pretty good. And this eye just has a little bit of that transfer. For being on only five hours, this is really, really good. Like this is an eyeliner that I would totally wear because this much transfer doesn't really bother me at all. Especially if I was wearing like a darker eyeshadow look, I feel like this little transfer there is really nothing. So I am gonna go about my day. I'm gonna try to wear this for a couple more hours. I think the most I've ever worn any kind of makeup is like six hours but I'll try to wear it for longer than that if I can. It's gonna be pretty late, but I stay up pretty late anyway, so I figured I'll just wear this for as long as I possibly can. Today we are just chilling in my pimple patches, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the day doing whatever I need to do, and I will check back in with you guys in probably two or three hours. Ooh, you're gonna be looking tired and a hot mess. <laughs> wow, I look busted as fuck right 
right now. I look so bad right now. I've been just chilling on the couch, watching some TV, relaxing, smoking the bud, you know. So I'm a tad bit lit, but I'm so ready to just take a shower. Like I've been waiting to take a shower because I was like, no, I can wear this a little longer. But here we are. The time is now 1017. So I've been wearing this for almost eight hours. And I have to say that this liner is doing pretty damn well. As for the eyeshadow, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm gonna scoot in closer so you guys can see what's happening. Hopefully you can see there's that small bit of transfer that was there earlier, but a lot of my eyeshadow has like rubbed off. I don't know if you can see like here in the corner, there's a little bit of transfer, a little bit of rub off on the eyeshadow. It hasn't transferred much to the hood of my eyes, but it's rubbed the eyeshadow off, if that makes sense. I feel like the eyeliner was rubbing it off. I have no idea how. If I open my eyes all the way, you can tell that the eyeliner lands right where the eyeshadow has been rubbed off. The only explanation I can think of is that the eyeliner was rubbing the eyeshadow from the friction of me blinking. This eye, we still don't have any transfer. I think there's like maybe a teeny tiny bit of transfer, but it's nothing super duper noticeable. And I'm just really pleasantly surprised by this eyeliner. It did kind of rub off here on the inner corner. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really not that big of a problem for me. Like it's not bothering me how much it's rubbed off. You can see right there, there's a little bit of rub off. This is amazing. Like I never thought that I would find more than like a couple of good eyeliners and it's really exciting to find more in like different price points different brands i think the last one yeah the beauty baker lollipop liner has to be probably the number one so far and i feel like the house laboratories is probably the second best one i don't know because they're both very very black and they both have lasting power but the house labs did have a little tiny bit of a transfer. I think the only thing again that I don't like about this is that it's a felt tip and the other thing that I have a slight eh feeling about is how long the felt tip is. Now this is just unusually long for a felt tip so I'm gonna pull out the lollipop liner because I really like that felt tip length. The rose gold one is the lollipop liner and it is so much shorter than the house labs and so it's a lot more maneuverable for me only because I have hooded eyes now if you don't have hooded eyes you could use any type of eyeliner whether it's long or short and probably still get a really good wink so I think everything about this is amazing I love the component the packaging that it's in the price point isn't really that bad for $20 especially in the mid-range um, brands and I really like the staying power I like how black it went on I like how much the felt tip dispenses I just don't like one that it's a felt tip two that the felt tip is a little too too lengthy for me. So I am ready to go take a shower and enjoy the rest of my night. And I hope you guys are doing well and just relaxing and just creating and just doing whatever the hell you want to do while you're in this quarantine time. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy making it for you. If you did, please hit a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I post my videos. And as always, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply want to talk shit, Leave it on the comment section below and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.